What's up everybody? Excuse me, Joel Hansen here. And today we're in the beautiful California sunshine. Living it up, just went for a run um, before I go do a food challenge. So what today's challenge is, it is the barbecue challenge at All American Barbecue, which is in Northridge, California. So it's basically just like north of Los Angeles a little bit. So for this challenge, we can win a total of $300. Yes, that's right, this is a $300 barbecue challenge, which is epic 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 because who doesn't love barbecue and who doesn't like challenges that give you money i very much like both i like it the money so basically for this challenge today what we're gonna have is we're gonna have kind of 30 minutes and kind of 60 minutes so the overall challenge is 60 minutes and if you beat it you get 300 dollars. but if you only beat it in 60 minutes then you actually don't get your money you paid for the challenge back that makes sense so challenge is 60 bucks but if you beat it in 30 minutes, you get your cash that you paid for the challenge back plus 300 bucks. So basically if you eat it in an hour, you only get $240. If you eat it in 30 minutes, you get $300. So that's what we're gonna try today. So 30 minutes, current record is 20 minutes set by Miss Reyna. So what this challenge consists of is a whole chicken. You have some ribs, some pulled pork, some tri-tip steak or beef of some sort. You also have a big massive thing of mashed potatoes, of beans, and of mac and cheese. So their technical weight I've heard is probably about ish seven pounds. I've heard kind of mis mixed things. We'll say about seven-ish pounds. So yeah, it sounds really good. Let's go do this thing and let's have a lot of fun eat some barbecue. All right, everyone, so here we are. So here we have the potatoes, mashed potatoes, the mac and cheese. We have a whole chicken. We have the cornbread, two pieces. We have all the meats down there and then the beans. So 30 minutes, let's get going. So we got one hour, 30 minutes to get our money back. So we'll start, let's say, at the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Tastes good. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're at All American Barbecue, and as we said, we're taking on their barbecue challenge. So yeah, it's probably about like seven, eight pounds. Um, essentially you have ribs, you have sausage, you have pulled pork, you have some tri-tip, which is like a steak, you have cornbread, then you have a whole chicken, uh, you have a, what is a pound and a half of potatoes, a pound and a half of mac and cheese, and then a pound and a half of beans, roughly a pound and a half. Um, how I know that is my friend Blaine, Mr. Blaine there, as you can see in the right. Uh, he actually tried this challenge and he got everything down except for the, I believe it was the potatoes or the mac and cheese. And anyway, he took it home and weighed it and um, it weighed a pound and a half. So I think it's pretty fair to say that all the sides were weigh about a pound and a half. And if anything, those mashed potatoes weigh a lot more. So I think it's at least seven or eight pounds. But anyway, um, so yeah, so pretty standard barbecue challenge um, with the exception there's a $300 cash prize. As I mentioned, if you eat it in 30 minutes, then you get the meal free. If you eat it in 60 minutes, you don't get the meal free, but you get 300 bucks if you finish it regardless. So uh, overall food was not too bad. Um, we just kind of went in there pretty casually and wanted to get this barbecue challenge done as I was really hoping to get that cash prize. Previous record, as we said, was about 20 minutes or right on 20 minutes by Miss Reyna. Now there is a little bit of like a background, I guess, leading up to this challenge. So if you want to hear that kind of the background, um, hop over to my Patreon. I'll be discussing it in full length on there. Um, but otherwise, I think pretty much for this challenge, pretty standard. Um, like I said, definitely there's a interesting background behind it. But uh, no complaints on the actual challenge itself. I do think it's a very reasonable challenge, especially with that kind of a cash prize on it. In fact, Reyna might have been the only winner, or there might have been one other. Um, but there had been a large, large number of attempts when this challenge surfaced just earlier this year, um, especially boasting that cash prize. Had a lot of people come by wanting to give it a go. Um, however, again, there only been one, or I think maybe maybe it was two. I feel like the number two sounds familiar. So there's only been like two successful winners um, out of a number of attempts. So hopefully we can change that, maybe get another winner uh, up on the board there. So let me know what your favorite item in this challenge is. Give the video a like, and at that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video.
About three minutes in, the sausage is spicy. About 10 minutes in, all the meat's gone, just the sides. There's a lot of them. Woo, that's ripped. But then all the, the cornbread. Might have to undo the belt here soon. Twelve minutes, the belt's being undone.
15 and a quarter minutes in. I just have two pieces of cornbread left. And that's about it. Got everything. Oh, nothing on those bones. Nice clean job. Time is 17, right on the dot. So everybody finished that 17 minutes. So for that we get our money back, $300. So that's pretty cool. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that challenge. Got a new record in inadvertently. And uh, so with that, food is really good. All American barbecue. Until next time. Stay happy, healthy, hungry. Of course, happy eating. You know what to do. What's up, y'all? We're down here on Hollywood Boulevard. Mr. Blaine and myself. Looking at this, all this stuff. We're here to see some of them Hollywood stars on the boulevard. Look at these things. Apparently, there's like a thousand of these stars all over the place and these are just the small ones and there's big ones it's a pretty recent after all the riding and stuff that went on down here so there's some place that we saw back there that was all boarded up but uh, all these places seem to be doing all right which is good let's uh, show you some more of this good city hollywood california there's a uh, see example of them boarded up places and windows and stuff more than bordered up places they, these these people painted them gray for whatever reason Give a little fifty cent See here, this thing is be elephant, whatever that big uh, over thingy thing is. And over here we have Disney Store and El Capitan Theater. It's pretty big, looks pretty cool. Hollywood, y'all. Hollywood. That's kind of weird. <laughs> it's like, how did it destroy city? Yeah. Robert Zimmerman, another Joel, Joel. Yeah, another Elton John. Yeah. TCL, Chinese theaters. A Ro there's a Roosevelt Hotel and all this other stuff. Very nice. Here's an Elvis El Dorado. Apparently it's worth a million dollars. So here along the road, they have Black Lives Matter. There's T-T-E-R on the thing. And then look, up in uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not, they have a dinosaur. It says, Raj, your hands, and he has a mask on. That's pretty funny, I have to admit, so. Yeah. 